For the first time, I had to sing from a different place. Mm. She was addicted to heroin, and I've never done any drugs, so I had to use, you know, the most painful emotions and, and memories of my life and sing from that place. Let, let's just hold on, watch a clip from that, okay. because it was an incredible performance. Thank you. And we'll talk about it after this. <laughs> you wouldn't even begin to know my problems, baby. Hey, let me. My mother was a whore. And that fat motherfucker just looked me in my face and he didn't see himself. He didn't see his little girl. I mean, a really visceral, raw performance that. And it surprised a lot of people. A lot of your critics watched it and were like, whoa, okay. She's not as simple in terms of her performance, we think she is. There was a real depth there. That must have been satisfying to you. It was very satisfying. And I worked really, really hard. So, you know, it, it felt good to know that it was appreciated. And even if it wasn't, it was such growth for me as a human being and, and as an artist. And it, it made me want to take more risks in my career. Um, it made me a lot braver and um, to have the freedom to kind of let go of all ego and not care about what I look like or fitting into a pop star box, it just was really liberating to me. Do you, do you like the acting? I do. Do you like the pace of it? I would imagine with, with singers, when you get on stage, you know, wham, bam, it's all over in two hours. Yeah. And you get all the energy out and you go and have a drink, whatever you want to do. When you're acting, you're always sitting around waiting Hundreds of people watching you. I don't like that as much, but I do like the stability. I like being able to go to the same place every night and your call time is around the same every morning and you're around the same people for six months and you don't have to travel 100 places. So you kind of build a, a family relationship. And because I've been touring since I was 13, um, that is something I haven't had in my life. I so, like doing those love scenes. I don't like them. Do you not? <laughs> no. <laughs> They're uncomfortable. But after maybe... Even if it's like Idris Elba as you, no, as you had that time. No, it's uncomfortable. I mean, he's a good looking guy. He is, but, you know, it's weird because, you know, you, I didn't grow up acting. So mm. I've done six or seven movies, which I've done kind of some romantic scenes and maybe three. So it's still new to me. But I realize that, you know, it's a part of it. And, and after a few times... It, kind of becomes choreography, so it gets a little easier. It's uncomfortable. I couldn't do it. It's strange. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I mean, actors don't say that, but I feel that it's strange. <laughs> We're going to have a little break. When we come back, I want to talk to you about brand Beyonce. Okay. What it is and how you keep it at the top. And Beyonce, it just wouldn't be right for you to be in my hometown of London and I don't introduce you to a classic English tea. I am very happy. Because I know that despite your very svelte uh, physique, that occasionally you do have lapses and you have these mad eating days, right? I do. And Pizzas, I missed it yesterday. fries, it all goes swelling in. Yes. You I couldn't have it, it yesterday because of Glastonbury. Yes. You now have a piping hot cup of English tea. Uh-huh. Then what you need especially on a hot summer's day like this, is a scone. I'm going to prepare one for you. Okay, and these are, what these is this pronounced? These are, it's called a scone, or if you're really pretentious, you can call it a scone. Okay, Which we is what want people who think they're members of the royal family or ought to be call them oh, scones. Okay. So you take some cream. It's about as fattening as it can possibly it get this. It looks delicious. Take a bit of fattening cream. You take some jam mm -hmm. like this. Slop it all on. Mm -hmm. And you put it together, and this is an old-fashioned... And it, it basically gives you a heart attack in about five minutes. <laughs> but on behalf of Great Thank Britain, you very much. there is your first ever scone. Okay, I'm going to try it. <laughs> okay, do I just go just, away? Just go for it. Okay. Mmm. Now, how good is that? Seriously. Delicious. <laughs> I love it. Seriously. It's, it's the, very it's the good. tastiest thing you'll ever get. It's like eat. a Popeye's chicken biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> I know I'm supposed to be proper. I'm having tea. It's, it's pretty delicious. cool, isn't it? I love it. Isn't it nice? Mm-hmm. The cream is so great. You, you've spoken quite honestly and openly about occasionally having 
slight weight problems in your life. How have you dealt with them? And what advice do you give your female fans in particular who may be going through that period in their lives? Well, I have found my personal goal, my, my ideal weight for myself, and I try to stick with that. You can't let anyone tell you what you know your best is. You know what your best is. And I work at it. You know, you can have whatever you want. It just takes work. You're 29 years old. Yes. And in September, the looming, dooming <laughs> big 3-0 is yes. emerging in your life. You're <laughs> pretending to be very, very thrilled about this. No, are you? I am absolutely serious. <laughs> I can't wait because 29 is very strange. You're still in your 20s, but you feel like you're supposed to be 30. And I feel like a woman. I feel, you know, like I'm... I'm very aware of who I am and um, I, I feel great and I, I feel like 30 is the ideal age because you're mature enough to, to, to know who you are and to have your boundaries and your standards and not be afraid or too polite but you're young enough to be a young woman. I'm, I'm so looking forward to it. You see, when I hear you speak like this, in this mature, sensible, rational way... It's the truth. Yeah, but it's beginning to sound a bit like your mother, which makes me think... <laughs> no. You're now heading to the right kind of time in your life. I'm turning into my mom. No, I didn't you mean that. you trying to say I need to have a baby. <laughs> I, I didn't even ask the question. Okay. <laughs> I always said I would have a baby at 30. I know you did. I'm 29. Exactly. But I also said I was going to retire at 30. <laughs> So I don't know. So it could be a big year. <laughs> Who knows? I'm not retiring. Can we, I mean, can we expect the little patter of little Beyonce and Jay Z's? You know, only God knows. Only God. Would knows. you mind asking him to tell me? I will. I will. <laughs> I will have a conversation. I whisper, but you can't tell anybody else. Now we're going to go off in a moment to do a very exciting thing involving your new album. But before we go, if I could ask you to replay the greatest moment of your life, the moment. The five minutes, maybe, that you would replay if you had the chance, what would it be? Oh, that's a tough one. So far? Um, I talked about, I think, two of the highlights, which is Glastonbury and performing for the president. I was kind of hoping that you were going to say tea and scones But with, that's because you didn't you give me a chance. You just... So for the record, you the greatest it. moment it of your life... absolutely speaking to you today, Mr. Morgan. Beyonce? Yes. I couldn't have asked for more. <laughs> when we come back, Beyonce, you and I are going to go album hunting. Yes, we are. There's a special album out today. <laughs> so I hear. <laughs> yes. I hope they're stocking it. I hope they are too. <laughs> So we are now snaking through South Kensington. South Kensington. Heading towards uh, Harrods. I um, can't believe we're actually about to do this. Well, look and I, we're actually going to go into Harrods and buy a copy of your album. It's very exciting. Imagine the hell that's going to descend on these assistants if they don't have it in stock. I know. That won't be good. I could see your fuse blowing if that happened. <laughs> no. This could be a very tense few moments. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> now, the big question, really, that I need to ask you is, you or J-Lo? Me or who? Jayla. <laughs> what? <laughs> who has the best booty, obviously. You are crazy. <laughs> J-Lo. <laughs> you don't honestly think I that. love J-Lo. She's great. <laughs> you think she's got a better booty than me? <laughs> no, I'm not saying anything. I'm not comparing my booty to <laughs> J-Lo's. <laughs> who are the real rivals for you? And don't pretend you don't have them, because everyone needs rivals. <laughs> who are the names you look for to compare yourself to in terms of success? Well, to be honest with you, in the past, I've always looked at my last performances and my last chart positions and tried to figure out how I can better myself. Um, I, I don't feel like I really have any, I don't want to say rivals. There are people that I respect. There are people that I admire. Like, I love Gaga. She's like not even more than an artist as a human being. She's just so genuine and such a, a really nice person and brilliant. But like an offer, I'm like the magic genie. And like an offer, you complete anonymity again. You're never going to have another prying camera. You're never going to have a weirdo fan. Just complete privacy <laughs> for the rest of your life. The only deal is you have to be poor. I don't know. Because I... I I'm thinking that I would probably go back and 
but then then that means I wouldn't be me. I don't know. It's a tough thing because I'm happy with my my choices in my life, and I'm happy with my life. So I don't know. Does money bring happiness to you? No, no. It brings some happiness. It brings comfort, but absolutely. I always think that if you have a lot of money, you don't have to worry about money. You don't have to. And worry a lot about of people it. in the world have to worry. They about do, money. and it's tough. It's, it's extremely tough. I, we've been through times in our family where we had to worry. It's stressful on relationships, on everything. Um, and I'm very happy that I don't right now. Who knows, you know. Are Look you what you time? did. I'm oh, sorry, I can only apologize. It's the bane of my life. <laughs> they follow me everywhere. <laughs> Here we go. I think we need to buy one, don't you? I think we do. Hey, good news. We can actually probably get two. Okay. All right? You, that is great. You can afford it, right? Uh, I actually, the, I didn't bring any cash. You want me to buy them? Yes, I think. How much are you worth? <laughs> Seriously, the hundred million dollar woman, you're making me buy your own album? I don't have any cash. I'm sorry. Seriously? <laughs> this is really awkward. I better check. <laughs> hey, look, why don't I get one of these? Here. Winning. It has to be. Mm-hmm. It's the perfect t-shirt. It is. I'm going to get you one of these in one of your albums. Okay. <laughs> I can't be fair at the moment. After you. Thank you. That's that quite is a, great. What a racy little number, huh? It's good music on there. Never mind the music. Good music. <laughs> All the pictures I'm interested in. I appreciate it. She me to buy her own record. No wonder she's so rich. Seriously. I'm telling you. <laughs> So this was apparently, this mayhem was all caused by one tweet on Twitter. I know, the power of Twitter. Nothing secret anymore, is it? It's not. It's, that is a little disappointing. It's hard to keep the, that excitement that I used to have when, when I saw a photograph of Michael Jackson or, or Prince, the mystery, and mm. just being able to kind of create the fantasy in your, your mind. It's so hard to keep that. But, you know... Is that one of the reasons that you're quite private? It is. I think it's important. Try and keep the mystique. It's important. Mm. I enjoyed that. It's, it's, it's an exciting thing as a fan to, to be able to yearn for more. Well, it's interesting. Twitter brought them all here, and then all the camera phones come out. Yep. Boom, 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 boom. True. Everyone's a paparazzi. Now. Everyone's a, a director. Everyone's a photographer. <laughs> Thank you. Great. Terrific. I loved it. It was really good. Thank you.